heading out to Pierce Historic Ghost Town here. Michelle found this one. I think we turn yep. right here. Okay. I think it's called like Ghost Town Trail or something like that. Ghost, yeah, Ghost Town Trail. Lots to see in southern Arizona. Historic Pierce Town site. Gold discovered 1895. Yeah, let's see if we can find some gold today. <laughs> it's probably pretty picked over, or else there would still be people living here. <laughs> it's probably very. <laughs> Very true. What a beautiful little town. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Yeah. Looks like there may be a tiny population here. Might be. The Pierce Cemetery is to the right, so I guess we'll go. There's Ghost Town Trail, Soto Brothers and Renown. Well, that building the is The jail first. was over to the right. We just passed oh. it. I believe that was the jail. Okay, and we'll come back up to the jail here in a minute. Let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Cute little church. This is population five. <laughs> uh, I know, right? It's a cute little town now. It's adorable. It's my kind of town. Nobody lives here. It is. It's just kind of out here and plopped in the middle of nowhere. There is the cemetery. It said the cemetery was to the right. We have arrived at the Pierce Cemetery. Take a quick look at that. Take a gander. Yeah. <laughs> Get a, it's actually very large. It is. Let's get a parking spot and we'll take a look at it real quick. Cemetery does have some beautiful views. That is for sure. see where we go in here. I think we go in over here. All right, let me see if I can get this key open. Okay, there we go. We got it. It's a fairly, I, I don't think you got the gate. Yeah, I'm going to leave it open for now. Oh, okay. It's a fairly large cemetery, actually. Historic Pierce Cemetery. Wow. Well, this spot definitely has some very amazing out here, that is for sure. Alright, we'll move on to the town and see what the town of Pierce has to offer. Okay, I'm going to leave the Pierce Cemetery. This would be a cute little town if you like small time living. We should look for some land down in Pierce, Arizona. 
here are some sun sites. We have some crazy great views. Oh yeah. Alright, we will head back to Pierce here. businesses out this uh, out this way and then like what about one mile if that from here is sun sites and sun sites does have a few places um, not many streets here in Pierce but we'll try to go around this looks like an old church it's private property though so we really we won't be. But that must be the old Pierce Church. It looks like it. Alright, sorry about that. I had to take a picture of that abandoned building. Wasn't really nothing to see though. Just for my Instagram. But here's the school. I'm not sure if it's still in business or not. Well, it says it is. They just must be off today. It's a Friday, which is kind of weird yeah. there's not a lot of information uh, but how much fun would it be <laughs> would it be to go to a school way out in the middle of nowhere if you're growing up and uh, you know not have a ton of kids and all the peer pressure and stuff that you find in the city I mean I still think Homeschooling is a great alternative, but if you don't have that option, then maybe a tiny school is your best bet. Yeah, definitely. It would be fun to go to a school way out here in what's deemed to be a ghost town. Yeah. I'm convinced that that place is abandoned or not. Sometimes it's hard to tell with homesteads. what's abandoned and what's not. We've been to towns where it appears like somebody may live there, but it's like nobody even lives there. So, I do not know. And then we've been to places where we thought nobody lived there, and surprise! <laughs> yeah, I know, that was embarrassing. Um, yeah. You just never know nowadays, especially when you're out in these real rural and then that's when you're like, oh, your property's so beautiful. I just want yeah. to take a picture. Yeah, I was just trying to take a picture. It says this is for... for that place is open right there sale. on the corner. It's a business. Well, we could probably just park here, and I'm yeah, sure lots I'm of people do it. I'm going to park right here and walk around this thing for everyone to see. It's well-maintained here. It is. The real estate signs up, so it's definitely for sale. Oh, I would totally, totally. Oh, I know. Love to grab this place. It is okay. so beautiful. Yeah, let's get out and take a little walk here. Take you with. All right, here we go. It's a huge building. Pan out a little bit. There we go. Ghost Town Trail. Very cool. Doesn't have any signs up that say like no trespassing, so. This is the old store. 
Oh, this is the old store. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see if I can get that. Yeah, pretty cool. Somebody definitely maintains it. Oh, yeah. Pictures. It is for it is for sale. I'm not sure if the, just the first building we parked in front of is for sale or the whole uh, the whole place is for sale. Definitely old. I thought I read there was actually a a caretaker down here, but I'm not sure. I thought I saw that though online that there was a caretaker for this place. Oh, and it just goes around the back. I guess we can just walk around it. Yeah. Um, what? There's a, like, through the gate, uh -huh. you can see that there's a place inside where you can go and see things, but I don't know if we can get in or not. Oh, okay. Well, let's walk around the building. We'll go back to the front and we'll see if there's... Well, and we may be able to through there, too. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's grass in there. Wow, that is pretty cool. Okay. Let's see if we can get... I'm not really sure. Yeah, just not really sure how you get inside. Obviously, somebody's taking care of... Somebody is definitely taking care of this place. Oh, this is so cool. It is. <laughs> Someone's done a phenomenal job. Yeah, they have. Too bad it's for sale. I wonder what happened. I want to buy it. You know. I'll have to look up. I'll get the real estate sign uh, on the way out this right here. This is just an incredible place. I wonder if this was where the caretaker lives that they were talking about online, and then it's open sometimes to the public. Because you see tables and chairs right there to your right. Oh, well, there's literally, like, nobody out here. And Michelle believes that's, that's the, the jail. That's the jail over here. I don't know if we can get in it. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's go over to this jail real quick and see if we can get in this. Boy, the sun is bright today. I'm hoping that the quality of this video will turn out good. Oh, there's a padlock on the gate. <laughs> Yeah, front. we can at least see the front. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure this is the jail. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, this is the old Pierce jail right here. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get that. Hold on a second. Let's zoom in. There you go. All right. Go ahead and pause that if you'd like to read it. Oh. Huh. Leave it to my wife. She always finds the unlocked gates. 
to get into. Okay, let's try this one more time. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, now the shadows are in the way. There we go. Hopefully that came in pretty good. Well, this is pretty neat. Definitely locked. Just because it's locked, don't mean Michelle won't find a way into it somehow. I'm looking. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not a uh, jail I'd want to spend a whole lot of time in, that's for sure. Not really seeing many windows or amenities here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like it's a to make you wanna hot box. Always obey the law. I mean, how sad too. I mean, look at these amazing views you would have had from the from the jail <laughs> but you couldn't see out because they didn't put a window in this thing. Oh, there's a window. Yeah, way up at the top. Two. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to be 10 feet tall inside this thing just oh, to... Oh, there's one up here, too. Just to see out. Okay. It's yeah. level glass, so you can't see out it. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right. Back over we go. Let's see if we can... Uh... It's a chilly day out, by the way. But let's see if we can... Uh... That's fine. Like chilly days here. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get back to the other spot here. I'm not sure. We'll go down this road as well. Drive down it. I'm not sure what else is uh what else is here. I know you got that building over here to the left. Not sure how much stuff is around. Gonna walk into the sign. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's calling my name. Okay, here we go. Oh, Back there. the vultures are eating. So, you know, I guess if you're interested in this, uh, offered by one realty group, there you go. That's a call. Phone number right there. And uh, yeah, give old Patsy a call and see what she's up to. I guess we're just gonna, I'm assuming it's all gonna be locked, but who? Oh, it's locked. Please do not disturb. Oh. So the please do not disturb sign is up. So definitely. <laughs> but it is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Interesting little, interesting little place. So I'm assuming the caretaker lives somewhere around here. Right, we are going to get on down the road. We're good. A little bit. I still see the vultures down there in the road. So cool. So there may be a couple of little lake things, and then there's something else. We don't know for sure, though. We're not sure if they're on private property or not. Yeah. <clears throat> I just showed two, like a pond and a small lake on Google Maps, but you know Google Maps. Lord have mercy. Hold on a second. Oh, wow. There's somebody behind us. Yeah, doing 100 miles an hour. I am glad we got turned around. Wow. This Very way. aggressive <laughs> out here. This is the back side of the school. Yeah. This is the 
I looked in my rear view mirror. <laughs> it does say it's only a 25, and I had just turned around, looked up, and the guy almost hit me from behind. They're probably not used to a lot of people being out here, so. It was hauling, uh, it was a big truck hauling a big water tank, and a lot of people have water tanks who homestead back here. This is the Commonwealth Mine, but somebody is here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. If we would have got a little farther past the school, we would have seen this. But someone is here. Oh, that's a scary. Looks like they have an air conditioner inside. It says notice on the front. I don't know what the notice is, but if someone lives here, we probably should just leave them alone. Yeah. Because this does not show up on Google Maps. Typically, if something shows up on Google Map, you know, like with the blue dot, it's a place to go and visit. But some people buy old historic sites and live in them. Well, at least you got to see the back side of the school. I see the school buses back there, so. It looks like that said it was the old manager site for the mining, old mining place. Oh. Okay, well, we will continue on here. Yeah, it does not show up. Okay, so that was probably somebody... It looks like someone's living there. Bought that. It would be so cool to buy and live in an old historic place. And that's where the little lakes are, oh, the private property. Got so. the little lakes. This little gas station or whatever this is is pretty cool. Right there. Hired gun. Ranch. Ranch. But, but that doesn't show up on Google Maps either. Yeah, somebody purchased that. But this place is a business, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty... I just don't think they're open right now. A lot of these places only open a few days a week. And we know this, like, in sun sites. How cute. In sun sites, most businesses are closed on the weekend. Which is... Our, they are, everything is closed on Sundays except for there's a little bar there. But, like, everything else closes on Sundays. Um, and that's how I grew up, where everything was closed Sundays. It was, like, family day. But it's so weird to see it again after, you know, being in other areas. This used to be mines over here. These are defunct mines, gold mines. You can always tell the difference between mountains where there's been mines and when there's not. Even if they've been defunct for a long time, you can still tell that never goes away. 